especially Chevy Blazers, Suburbans. Just a few of the makes and models that send up a red flag for police. We had a couple of dime bags of coke for a toss because we think some guys pull them out of the car and then they'll turn and they'll dump it. It's called Operation Backdoor, and the goal here is to catch weapons, drugs, and stolen vehicles before they get across the border into Mexico. There are specific clues officers on the line look for. The rivets on them, see if they're tampered with or they don't belong there. Also, the doors, the stickers are supposed to be on the, on the door. And um, sometimes they even cross through here with the uh, with uh, some, some kind of towel or, or handkerchief wrapped around the steering column. Which... Other signs that raise suspicion, a nervous driver behind the wheel. Jose, middle of pot. It'll be 012475. This cooperative effort between city, state, and federal authorities helps the process go by much faster and easier when police come upon a vehicle that they believe could be stolen. Suspects are pulled over. Vehicle identification numbers on the cars and trucks are verified. If everything checks out, the driver is allowed to be on their way. If not, the vehicle is seized and the driver is arrested on the spot. Many times the owner isn't even aware the vehicle is stolen. Here at the port, since we're working under customs, we don't need no probable cause. All we need is just reasonable uh, clues or, or more that they're bringing something or they're smuggling something across. Investigators plan to continue these random inspections in hopes of putting a dent in the number of stolen vehicles which might otherwise end up south of the border. Laura Castaneda, 9 News.